Hey Pap, she says it's Lilith of the Fashion Blog, and I wanted to do sort of like a review on like some products that I've just been trying out recently. Um, they're all from Revlon, and I thought that aside from all the like fashion stuff I do, products would be also a good thing to like share my information or my reviews about. Because I know when I'm looking for a new product, I always like to look at reviews for everything before I purchase. So the first product that I would like to show you is called. Well, let me show it to you first. <laughs> it's called Revlon Photo Ready Color, Collect Color Correcting Primer. Now, I used this before I put on my foundation. It's supposed to be applied before um, you do your makeup, or if you're not going to wear makeup, I think it says you can go with just the clean skin as well. Yeah, use alone or under makeup. So, I mean, it feels soft when I put it on, like, originally before I put my foundation. I was a little hesitant because I'm like, I have to daily routine that I do, so um, this is a new product I decided to add today, and I tried this a few times, and I actually liked it. I use a mousse foundation, so this actually blended in pretty good with it. It's like a, it's almost like a lotion that you're putting on your face, and it does seem to work for me, I mean, so it don't have, doesn't have a scent from what I can tell, so I think you're good. It's, yeah, Revlon Photo Ready. Then, the second item I wanted to show you was an eyeshadow palette, and like, I really love colorful eyeshadows. Most of the time, I'll just do like a very neutral um, eyeshadow look because then I can just like not have to worry about my outfits looking crazy if I have like too much on my eyes and my lips and everything. But I thought this was a fun palette, and it shows you in the back like how you can do it or you should do it if you want to follow their steps. But it has like um. A very neutral, looks yellowy to me, maybe even like a little on the very, very light lime side. And it has this color, sort of like a pealish color, a dark blue, and then a green. So that was real fun to play with. I was doing some eyeshadow looks earlier today. And then I have this one as well, which is purple. I have brown eyes, and from what I've read, a lot of the time people say like brown eyes should use purple shadows. So why not? <laughs> It has um, a very light pink, and then it has the um, next few shades down, and then a purple and a very dark purple, so you can put that in like the creases and whatnot. Um, so, and again, that was Revlon Color Stay for those two palettes. Then, I also got this. It's a lip gloss, and it looks more orangey. Um, it's called... I really don't know what this says, <laughs> but, um, oh, Sizzle, Sizzle Can It Cool, something like that. The number is 046. Now, I tried this product with just, like, bare lips, like, if, see if it would go with, like, um, me, really, because I know in the past I've used very clear lip glosses, and this is, like, a color, so that's really new to me, because I never saw it before. I mean, I'm sure they've had them. I've seen pink, very light pink, but I've never seen, like, something this vibrant. Now, I didn't like it too much just by itself, but when I did pair it with this Revlon lipstick, I loved it. It gave it a nice glossy finish, and it wasn't, like, too much. It wasn't too orange or anything. It was a very red shade. And this I actually really like. It stays on for a while, and I like the container. It's kind of cute to me. Um, it's also Revlon. This is called Cherry Tart, and it's a lip butter. So it's like sort of not like a, it's like kind of sticky-ish, so it'll go with the lip gloss if that makes sense, because um, they're both kind of the same texture in a way. But um, I liked those two together, and then I also tried that, this lip gloss with this Revlon lipstick, and I also liked it with it. So, since that's like an orangey lip gloss, I figured I'd put it with the red to like tone the red down a little and also be able to bring out some of an orange hue in it because I see a lot of people wearing oranges. This one is Revlon Super Lust Lustrous Lipstick Cream Fire and Ice, number 720. And oh, it's very red. It doesn't look as red in my camera for some reason. But, as you can see, it's a really nice shade, actually. It reminds me, my favorite lipstick is from MAC. I forget what it's called, but I have a really great red. And I've been using that all the time lately because I've been doing, like, very retro -y looks uh, when I go out. So, it reminded me of that, and it was much cheaper. So, it's a good alternative to, like, very red lipsticks from MAC. And then, of course, it's 
that time of the year when bright colors are like awesome for your nails. And I've been doing a lot of blues, but I thought I'd be a little daring. And I picked up an orange. So this is Revlon Color Stay. And I don't know which color it is. Hmm. Alright, well, it's an orange, and I don't see the brand. It. Oh, okay. Alright, it's called Soray, and it's 090. It's very orange, and it's very cute, and I'm going to do my toes later in that color because I think that'd be fun. And then I also got the clears to go with it from Revlon. So, I like all these products. Like, they really work. They're very long lasting. The only thing I didn't like too much was. That I didn't like this by itself, but then again, I'm very biased when it comes to the lip gloss, so like I don't usually wear lip gloss too much. But I mean, it's good with the lipsticks. I really loved it with the lipsticks. That was like perfect combination. So try it. Like if you want to make your lips not have that matte finish, if you want them to have a very glossy look, then definitely try adding that uh, lip gloss thing involved. So yeah, I mean, I liked all my products that I got from Revlon and. They were all really good quality. I liked um, the price from Revlon isn't bad. They're a really great company, so you can't go wrong with that. So if you're looking for some new products to try, consider the ones I just did this quick review on, which is not seeming so quick because it's like six minutes so far. Um, yeah, so I think that's all for now. And let me know if you've tried any of these products before, what you thought of them. I'd love to hear other people's opinions. And if you have any products you'd recommend for me, I'd love to hear that too because I love products, so I'm eager to go and try things if people tell me that they're good. So let me know, and I hope you enjoyed this little review. I'm going to go back to my barbecue outside. See you guys.